We woke up to a beautiful day at a campground in Atkinson, Nebraska. From here, we would continue westward into the Pine Ridge region of northwestern Nebraska. An interesting thing I found here at this campground in Nebraska, right in the middle of Tornado Alley, is they have this little cement box with a door that looks like it's for a bomb shelter. It says Tornado Shelter on it. I would hate to have to ride one out in that thing, but I guess it's better than nothing. There's a view of what it looks like inside. Not very much room in here. Has a nice echo though. be the main highway bridge years and years ago before they built a new one. We're gonna go check out what that looks like. It's a pretty neat old arch steel bridge. to take a little lunch break. We are here in Nebraska by the Niobrar River and there's this trail that goes all across the state called the Cowboy Trail and we're gonna take a little walk down it. There's a cool old railway trestle. We were here six years ago um, when Kylie and Lila and Lex were smaller but no one's never been here so we're all going to go take a walk across it real quick here and check it out. prickly pear, isn't it pretty? So we are along the uh, highway US 20. This highway goes all the way across northern Nebraska. If you ever get up this way, I highly recommend it. It's a pretty scenic drive if you like great plains, scenery, big blue skies, and there's some really pretty rivers and hills and stuff to look at. And there's also this awesome old railroad trestle that we walk across that goes across the Niobrara River. It's pretty high, and it's 100 feet above the river, so yeah, I think it was built in 1908. Why is it scary? Why is it scary? Is it really high up? Yeah. In the river. Let's go. 
falling ground. Um, uh, it's old. <laughs> um, we also went on this bridge six years ago. Um, do you remember it? Yes, I do remember it. I remember being a little scared, but this time I'm not scared at all. And I remember it being hot, and it's really hot right now, too. It was probably a very similar time of the year, I would think, as it is right now. Yeah, it probably was. There's just something about Nebraska. It doesn't have majestic mountains like you'd see further west, but it has something else. There's something serene about the endless green rolling hills and seemingly endless blue skies. Nebraska is definitely one of our favorites of the Plains states. Sometimes the road to get to a destination is an adventure itself. This was certainly the case for Toadstool Road. camping here at the Toadstool Geological Area and we got a really awesome spot. It's surrounded by these cool Badlands formations. Right now the kids and I are going to go take a hike up into the hills and check out and see what's up there. But Where are we? What kind of rocks are you looking for? It's almost like a 
giant playground for the kids. They're having a great time climbing up all over these rocks. It's like a neat little cave down there. Stay right there, buddy. You're gonna climb atop the toadstool? Okay. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What are those, Lila? They're like, they're toads, so they look like, they're rocks, but they look like mushrooms. They do kind of, don't they? It's pretty cool. So right down here, according to the trail guide, we are standing on a path of ancient rhinoceros, prehistoric rhinoceros uh, tracks. I'll get you in for a closer look. I guess this right here is one, and uh, there's one over there. All this used to be a mud path through a stream that the rhinoceros has left behind footprints and it turned into rock. Here on a walk along the trail in the dark, and we just found a gigantic toad. I got it. Be careful, it's gonna Whoa. pee on you. That is so huge. <laughs> That is a big toad. So cute. Oh, what's up? So cute. Let me hold it. No, no, no. <laughs> This is the land of the toads, since it's the toadstool park, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, that is a cool toad. They found another giant toad. No, we found, found three. It. Let's see what this one looks like. We found three! Three! The kids and I finished our night hike by experimenting a bit with long exposure and astrophotography before we headed back to camp and called in a night. <laughs>